Hello everyone. Today I'm going to start this chapter with a beautiful quote of Thomas Alva Edison which stated, "I believe that the science of chemistry alone almost proves the existence of an intelligent creator." Now in this chapter and all the chapters ahead, we are going to understand or find what made Thomas propose this quote. Now this chapter we have to start with a basic concept which is the chemical reactions now chemical reactions are the basis of understanding what happens when two elements come together now the chemical reactions surrounds us and affects us sometimes we don't even know it that the chemical reaction is happening around us like the cooking of food burning of fuels rusting of iron turning of milk into curd and even the respiration and the digestion process involves chemical reactions now these chemical reactions affects us so we are going to study what are these chemical reactions these chemical reactions involves changes in color state and temperature there is also sometimes evolution of gases so let's conduct an experiment to find out what are the changes which goes in the chemical reactions so let's perform the first simple experiment which is burning of magnesium strip now i have a magnesium strip in my hand which we are going to use in this activity so let's begin with the activity for this experiment we need a forceps a watch glass a spirit lamp and a magnesium strip I will hold this magnesium strip with the help of this forceps and now I will burn it over the burner. I have put a watch glass below. I have to be cautious while carrying out this experiment by keeping my eyes as far as possible. We can observe that magnesium ribbon burns with a dazzling white flame and what remains at last is a white powder in a watch glass which is nothing but magnesium oxide. This burning of magnesium strip is actually a chemical change from magnesium to magnesium oxide. We will carry out another experiment to show the change in temperature and evolution of gas. Now I have some zinc granules in a conical flask. Now I will pour some dilute hydrochloric acid or I can even use sulfuric acid. Now you will observe when you touch the conical flask it has increased the temperature. You will also see that there are bubbles of some gas. Now how will you test this gas? You can test this gas by bringing a burning matchstick. You will observe that the matchstick extinguishes with a pop sound. This shows that the evolution of hydrogen gas was there. So we can conclude that there is change in temperature and also evolution of gas. Now we are going to see what are these chemical reactions. how we can represent this chemical reactions in the form of equations and also learn how to balance these chemical equations in our next video